Hi, Big Mike here, running for weight loss part two of four. Would you like to run easy for maximum results? Well, of course you would. You might be asking yourself, well, define easy. I thought I had to run hard to get results. No, that's not true. We run in a zone two. Let me explain a really quick method and Afterwards, you can uh, go to my blog, which the uh, post is uh, in the description below, and you can read uh, in detail an article written by Phil Maffetone where I'm getting this information. Let me uh, uh, first tell you uh, uh, Mark Allen's story. Mark Allen was a six-time World Ironman champion. He used to hammer everything that he did. He went maximum hard, but he never got on the podium. And then he hired Dr. Maffetone. And so for nine months, Mark Allen went easy. And during this period of time, beforehand, he would run a five-minute mile at maximum heart rate. And over a nine-month period, he'd run a five-minute mile, but his heart rate was lower. So he was uh, using less energy to go just as fast. So he, uh, nine months later, he goes down to uh, Ironman Australia. Uh, and Dr. Maffetone the night before the race says, go for it. And so he, he went out, set a world record. So he went slow for nine months. He got his body healthy. His body basically learned how to burn fat. That's what you want to do in weight loss. My own results are the same. When I first started this method, I uh, would you know, run a 11-minute mile at a certain heart rate, and, uh, and it dropped. You know, I was running a 14-minute mile, but over a period of time, as I as I ran at a slower heart rate, I got back to an 11-minute mile, and it worked for you. And here, here's the method, basically, is to find your maximum aerobic heart rate. You subtract your age from 180. Let's say you're 50 years old. So 180 minus 50 is 30. So you run in a zone uh, between 120 and 130. Now you modify this number by subtract, uh, selecting one of the following categories. If you have uh, or are recovering from a major illness uh, like a heart disease, any operate, any hospital stay, on a regular medication, you subtract 10. So from that 130, you'd subtract uh, 10 and be 120. So you run at 110 to 120. Here's the other three. If you have not exercised before, you have exercised but have been injured or are regressing in your running. Uh, or you often get colds or flu or have allergies, you subtract five. If you have been exercising for up to two years with no real problems and have uh, not had colds or flu more than once or twice a year, you subtract zero. If you have been exercising for more than two years without any problems, making progress in competition without injury, you add five. Use that method when you run. Strap on a, a heart rate monitor, really inexpensive, and then you have a coach that's with you all the time. You can, uh, there again, read about this method in more in detail on my blog. Uh, take care. Look for uh, part three tomorrow of running. I'm going to get into um, uh, some health or injury issues so that you can run pain-free. Take care. Uh, email me any questions at triumphanthealth at cox.net. See you. Love you guys. Bye.